I am here with Jean Borowski from the Reading School Committee. Thank you for coming on with us this evening. Thank you for having me. So can you talk about uh, the role that the school committee has in town? Sure. Um, you know, our town has a lot of boards, committees, and commissions, but most of them are actually dictated by local bylaw or by our town charter. School committee is a little different. Um, school committees in Massachusetts fall under Massachusetts general law. So our school committee does what school committees do all over the state. There are three main responsibilities. Uh, the first is we hire and evaluate the superintendent of schools. Uh, the Massachusetts Department of Education has a superintendent evaluation tool. That's what we use. We start with goal setting, have periodic updates, and then a summative evaluation at the end. The second main responsibility is we set district policy. That's everything from anti-bullying policy to harassment policy to establishing the school calendar every year when those vacations are. <laughs> um, and then the last responsibility, which is a really huge responsibility, is we oversee and approve the school budget. Uh, Reading has nine schools, 4,500 students, um, hundreds and hundreds of staff, and an annual operating budget north of $40 million. So our job is to take that enormous investment from the community and make sure that we are spending it in a way that aligns with the mission of the schools. It's quite a lot of responsibility for the, there for the school committee, but obviously, you know, if you look at the numbers, Reading consistently is ranked high amongst the schools in the state, so job well done. Um, what would you say is your favorite part of being a member of the school committee? Um, do you know, I have to say, I'm, I'm here representing my five colleagues on the school committee, uh, Chuck Robinson, Elaine well Webb, Gary Nyan, Linda Snow-Doxer, and our newly elected a member, Julie Joyce. They're a pleasure to work with, so I think we're a very collaborative board. I really enjoy working with the people on the committee. Um, every opportunity we get to be in the schools is the best. So from our RISE preschool three-year-olds to our graduating seniors, when we get to be um, observing a choral concert, observing a class, um, attending an athletic event, you get to see just the talent and strength and intelligence and creativity of our students, and that's just really inspiring. Um, and I think we would all agree that graduation day is just a tremendous celebration sure. uh, for the kids, for the parents who make an enormous sacrifice to help educate their kids, um, and just for the town as a whole to see that that huge investment of dollars, um, to your point, is a good investment. And it's just the, the kids who graduate out of our schools are a true inspiration. That's awesome. Um, so how can the, the, the public talk to the school committee and have their voices be heard? I'm really glad you asked that question because it's the more we hear from the public, the better job we can do. So we've developed a lot of different vehicles for the public to communicate with us. If you go to our website, which is reading.k12.ma.us, very complicated website. I prefer to go to Google, type in Reading Public Schools <laughs> as the first hit. That's the better way to do it. You can also link to us through the town website. If we go to the, um, the school webpage, click on school committee, our email addresses are right there send us an email. You have a question, you have a concern, you have a comment. Um, sometimes we get compliments. I just wanted to acknowledge a wonderful administrator and wonderful teacher. Um, email's a great way. We meet on the first and third Monday of every month at 7 o'clock at the Reading Memorial High School in the superintendent's office. Um, those meetings are dictated by open meeting law. They are, the door is open, there are seats, it's very comfortable. Come observe a meeting. We always start with public input. So before we start the meeting, we say, does anyone have anything to say? And you can approach the mic and address the committee with anything that you want to say. Some people find that a little daunting. Um, so for those folks, on the first Monday of every month, we have office hours at 6.30. So two members of the committee are available in a conference room, and you can come have a more informal chat. Um, so those are the ways that you can, on an ongoing basis, talk to us. That's great. Now, Jean, before we uh, head off air here, is there anything else that you'd like to say about the school committee? Um, I think I sort of hit on this earlier. Reading is a community that just steps up and supports its schools in such a profound way from town meeting members and uh, the Board of Selectmen and the Finance Committee and local elected boards really support our schools and know the critical importance of public education in this town. So I think that is something I would like to say. Um, and also, I mentioned the parents in this community. The fundraising that they do for the band, for the drama, for the sports teams, for the Reading Education Foundation that just presented here, which does an incredible job uh, supporting teachers, um, to <laughs> the 5 a.m. practices and the 8 p.m. games and the, the tech rehearsals for the plays. I, I do feel like the parents in this community are a huge part, a huge ingredient to our success. Absolutely. Well, Jean, thank you very much for coming on and speaking with us this evening.